Okay, a little bit of a gap there, but not too bad. Great stuff. Just sit you up a bit so you can see what's going on. All right, you just relax. We're going to cut this clear, okay, because yeah. it'll be more comfortable that way. Since coming to Afghanistan, we're now a digital unit and we have Dragon machines, which are digital radiography. We have four of those at the moment. It means we're getting an image within 10 seconds of taking it. I lost his brain, I think. There's a tiny little flake of bone there, but it might be old. Patients mostly get a chest x-ray and a pelvis x-ray, then they come round for a CT scan. So that's improved the patient treatment quite considerably. Surgeons get a quick answer as to what they need to do in surgery. We have two 64 slice CT scanners. We also have ultrasound. But in addition to that, we have radiologists, one from the UK and one from America. Those radiologists help you and they help do all the diagnosis for the CT scans. We are now doing roughly a thousand patients a month. I can't imagine how many CT scans we do, but a fair number, probably three, four hundred, I would guess. I told that there, because they talk about blood and I want to make sure we the workload, although it's quicker for us being digital, it means that the throughput has increased, which is why we now need seven radiographers. Ready, steady, move. We see trauma here that you're never likely to experience back home. I certainly hadn't seen anything until I went to Iraq, and then I thought I'd seen everything that I was likely to bear witness to, but since I've come here, the trauma I've had to x-ray images of has been horrific and it's definitely sobering. And you think you're having a bad day because you're tired or your laundry's not dried and ironed, but then you see a lad come in and he may have had an amputated limb or two or even triple amputations that we're seeing. And it puts everything else into perspective. You know how lucky you are and the job that you're doing is extremely important. Well, you're going to stay nice and still for us, aren't you? Yeah. Excellent. Good. You don't wear them, do you? you? Can have a whole box. Thank you. Don't take them. Why not? Because they're the box that you wear. That's for looking at, not taking. It is important to say that us having a giggle and some downtime is necessary for us to get through the day. Yeah. We do have a macabre sense of humour, but that's what medical people have. And that's how we manage to compartmentalise it, I think, and deal with the next one that comes through. If you're at all squeamish, then TA is not really for you. But if you enjoy having the fast pace, the adrenaline rush, and feeling as though you can do a worthwhile job, then it's definitely something to take away with you and it will change you as a person, most definitely. It may improve you, it may make you decide you never want to do it again, but it's definitely a life-changing experience coming out on tour.